Hey folks, I'm Randy. And I'm Tammy. And this is All About Living. Welcome to the deep woods of North Florida. All right, guys, we're out here in Tammy's kitchen, my old shed, Tammy's new outdoor kitchen area, deep in the woods of North Florida. She's out here with all the skeeters, yep. all the bugs, all the coons, all the possums. Got to fight them off. They're all hungry. <laughs> <laughs> you guys notice I got a wire uh i got wire up here in front of these jars coons love pasta yeah yeah they, they sure do breaking my jars come out here every day and the jars would be on the floor smashed but uh in case you have a coon problem in your outdoor kitchen with your pasta jars now you know what to do <laughs> right hey how about that <laughs> There's value added to the video. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> okay, but uh, uh, speaking of value added to the video, mm -hmm. um, you know, we've reached, as of today, 908 subscribers. Thank y'all so much. Yep, thank you guys. Uh, you know, we actually really, you know, I mean, the fact that you're watching the videos and somebody just left a comment, they made your, uh, um, what was that, the uh, Latin style grilled chicken oh. and rice mm -hmm. they had that for lunch and they said it was absolutely amazing all right it was so i sent them back and i said thanks for watching yeah. you know so i hope you guys are that are watching get something out of our videos mm -hmm. um you know we're uh right now we're kind of just to let you know you know it it's kind of like uh, we are monetized and approved to a certain point <laughs> yeah. Okay. We're like, uh, well, we haven't reached a thousand subscribers, and we haven't reached four thousand watch hours. Not quite. No. Not quite. Um, but probably within the next month and a half, we'll get there. But we're we're what you call fan based fan monetized. Based. Fan based monetized. Yeah. That's where um, you know we can have a members only area, and I got that set up. Um, and we can also, we, we got a super thanks button. Super thanks. If you're just kind of cruising on by and you want to support our channel on the fly, just click that button and leave us a thanks. Yeah. So anyway, enough said about that. Right. Um, you know, it, it's something that we had to do, I guess. It's enough about right? that. All right. Okay. Let me just try to get through this real quick. All right. <laughs> Um, one thing that you can help us with is to watch the videos all the way through. That'll help push the videos to a higher ranking so that we can get more views and get recognized. Yeah, the um, algorithm doesn't pay you any attention unless all the video is watched. Yeah, so I mean, I know you guys know how to cook and you know, once you get the ingredients, you know how much to use, you know, it's you basically, oh, I got this, yeah. you know, but uh, turn the volume down, put the phone upside down, let the let video go all the way to the end, and then, you know, pick it up and click on the next video. I mean, that'll really help us out. Then the algorithm goes, hey, this is a good video. Yeah. But uh, aside from that, um, you know, we work really hard at, at, at trying to make the videos entertaining for you i mean i know it all it seems like we're always happy and smiling and uh it's because i, I mean i do and i make her <laughs> if you'll notice every time she's doing a video she's just getting over a big smile yeah. you know because i'm behind the camera getting her all lined up and cued and getting her all fired up so uh 
But um, all right, let me let me start from the beginning. You know, not the beginning. Let me start by saying that. Um, Okay, uh, we basically have the structure of the channel in place. All right. Okay, if you go to our main channel page, or you go to the video section, and there's a search bar at the top. If you type in anything, like if you want to cook dinner, and you can't figure out what to cook, you can type in pork, beef, chicken, rice, hot water pipe pancakes you can type in anything and there'll be a video that comes up where Tammy has made uh, something for dinner that might include all of anything that you type up in there you can also type in chicken tractor you can type in chicken you can type in rabbit you can type type in garden so why are you looking at me like that because I can't do that. Well, you, yeah, you can. <laughs> she, she, she tries to search, but she searches YouTube. She doesn't go to the yeah. video page and then do a search, okay? But it really is all there. There is more to our channel at All About Living than, you know, just chickens and eggs or cooking or you know anything aside from what you may have seen at one time or another uh, there are um, you know a hundred or so videos that just don't get any attention at all uh, I have ham radio yeah okay I mean if you if you live out in the middle of the deep woods you need to be a ham radio operator and I actually have a series of videos uh, under ham radio that you can go watch uh, it'll uh, show you how to go about learning and studying um, you know to become a ham radio it'll teach you the ABC's and you can learn you can make a you know CQ which is you know basically you know how to make a call and how to talk to people okay and I've got uh, what else in there you know, we got a lot of videos where Tammy and I do just this. It's in another library called, you know, Let's Talk. You know, go check it out. It's got some of the earlier videos where Tammy wasn't quite accustomed to being in front of a camera. Yeah. And she's like my straight guy. Mm -hmm. Yeah, she's going, we got to do this again. <laughs> yeah. But, uh, uh, you know, so what we did over time in the beginning is we developed a library about the chickens, about the rabbits, about the gardening that we do. You can dive in anytime, honey. I cook. <laughs> she, she cooks. And, um, you know, I, I'm the one that, you know, I'm the one that talks. But she does talk but to very little anyway um yeah so there's more there's more to it than that and um you know so go check out some of the other videos while while you're here and stop by and check out and see if you like us uh oh here comes my feral cat yes our feral cat kitty 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 come here come here no, go. she don't want to go. Dude. No, yes, you don't want to come here. Came all the way over here, and then came all the way over here. If I wouldn't have messed with that tin foil and scared her, she would, she would have come right up there. Oh, before we get any farther, Betty emailed me, and one of her questions was, "Whatever happened to that little egg?" Nothing. Absolutely. Nothing. No, no, something happened to it. I put it in the incubator and I left it in there long enough for it to hatch. But it didn't hatch. I knew it but there it is. It's the tiniest egg I think we've ever gotten. I actually think or thought it was the tiniest egg in the world. But we have a viewer named Annette and she said she got a mess of these things this year. You know? That's but the but there like. it is, Betty. There's that little egg. I don't know what Tammy's going to do with it. I thought we'd preserve it and put it in a glass case and 
set it up on the shelf and maybe bring it out again later <laughs> and show it again. But, I think it's ready for the compost. <laughs> yeah. And so, uh, but other than that, um, you know, we're going to be having a lot of different videos coming out on different subjects here soon. So I want you guys to be aware of that and watch them all the way through. Or flip your phone upside down. Yeah, or flip the phone, flip the phone upside down. Um, <laughs> you know, I watch a lot of videos on content creators and, you know, how to make your YouTube channel grow. And really the biggest thing is hooking your viewer and dragging them all the way through to the end of the video. And that's by like changing the scene every seven times. Well, that messes with your head too much. Yeah. No, it's changing the scene or flipping the screen every seven seconds. That's you know, too much. That's too much. I did that a little bit in the beginning, but it really didn't help. You know, I mean, I've, I've worked on the editing. I've, I've got it, I think, down to where I think it's simple enough that it doesn't mess with your head and it's still entertaining, you know? And, uh, but, uh, you know, so, you know, we're gonna get back to some of the basics on, you know, what we wanna do. Uh, Tammy's cooking is probably the biggest part of this. And I want her to talk a little bit, you know, about what she does. She cooks to show you how to be thrifty. Uh, she doesn't cook necessarily to show you how to cook, but like I told her, there's a lot of young ladies out there and a lot of younger guys that need to learn how to cook. So she, she goes into a lot of that. And if I think she skipped a step or two too much, I mean, I'll say, Tammy, we need to show these guys, you know, or these, and these young ladies out there how to cook, you know? And what I've noticed is in some of the comments is even, you know, the majority of the people are saying, wow, you got a lot of great tips. Mm -hmm. And she made beef, beef tips for dinner one night too, and they were off the chain. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Yeah, so, mm -hmm. yeah. Anyway, um, so I'm gonna let her talk to you for a second about uh, her cooking and her thoughts on why she does what she does, so. You go for it, baby. <laughs> I try to show you how to use real whole ingredients. You know, flour, sugar, salt, pepper, rice, pasta. You know, basic, simple things that, that you can keep in your cupboards all the time that you don't ever run out of. That way, if all that stuff is in place, all you have to do when you go to the grocery store is walk around the outside and pick up vegetables, dairy, meat, and out the door. All that stuff on those inside aisles is all processed. It's all got stuff in it you don't want to eat anyway. You really don't need to give it to your kids. It's, it's just as easy after you get into it, after, after you've learned a few basic th things, it's just as easy to cook from scratch as it is to pick up the phone and call Instacart or whoever it is that delivers food. You know, it, it's just as easy and does in the same amount of time and they eat, it's better for them and they enjoy it. That's what I try to do in my cooking videos. It's not necessarily that you don't know how to cook or don't know what to cook. It's how to use what you have on any given day to put a meal on the table. That, that's what I'm trying to do. Yeah. One of the things that I notice, you know, and Tammy kind of skips over this because it's kind of second nature to her. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Right. Well, you got to understand that, you know, I mean, everybody eats beef, chicken, pork yeah. every day. Yeah. They get so tired of it. You well, know? You don't have to. Well, you know, you don't have to, but like with Tammy's videos, if you notice some of the thumbnails I've made up, this is like one of 300 different ways to cook chicken. Yeah. You know? And uh, if you raise chickens, kind of like we do, 
you can supplement you know your groceries with you know with chicken okay Same and thing. so if you've got your rice and your pasta and your salt pepper you know and all your spices Tammy wants to do a video on all this out here I need to kind of you know come out and set up the camera and everything to help her do that but you know the way she uses all these spices and the different combinations of different things I mean, it will absolutely amaze you. Teaspoon this, teaspoon that. Cup of this, cup of that. You know, but and you're cooking the same stuff and you can cook it different every single time. Go back and look at all her videos. Nothing tastes the same. But it's the same ingredients. But it's the same ingredients. <laughs> I use onion in everything. I don't think yeah. I make anything that doesn't have an onion in it. Yeah, but I love onion. Yeah, but onion, onion tastes a thousand different ways too. Yeah. yeah. You know? And peppers and tomatoes and it, it, it just it's the same things. It's things we like, just prepared a different well, way or with a different afford. spice. And they're all affordable. There's nothing that, that's not in a regular grocery store. There's nothing I'm going to tell you to go to a specialty store for. Or maybe once in a while I might. But for the most part, any, anything that, that I have in a recipe, you can go to Publix and pick up or Kroger or yeah. Meyer. I mean, or, she cooks flat you know. steaks and minute steaks mm -hmm. and, you know, they all turn out great. Yeah, the rough cut sometimes tastes pretty good. You just got to know how You got to know how to cut, cut the cut. grain right. you, and, you know, and you got to also know how to cook it in the pan. Right. You know, the amount of time that you use to cook it and you know, all that good stuff. I'm learning a lot. Yeah, he's learning because he never paid I'm me learning. any attention at all. Now he has to stand there and watch me do it and tell you how to do it. So he's like, No, I don't really? tell him how to do it. Really? I just, I yeah. just happen to understand what you're doing, okay. you know? She is a thrifty cook, mm -hmm. and if you'll go and add up, you, I know you guys, you know, you guys and you ladies out there, you know how much everything she's putting into these meals actually costs. Yeah, I really You can look be. at a can and say, that's twenty-five. that's an onion, you know, you can get, uh, you know, three pounds of onions for three ninety-eight at Walmart, and, you know, you know how much a thing of spaghetti is, or... You know, I mean, you can add it all up in your head, and I don't think you're going to find anything here very much. It's, it's rare I go over $10 for a meal. $10. But see, and, we and eat it the now. next day, too. That's with leftovers. Yeah, that's that's, with that's leftovers. like four meals. Yeah, and that's with now prices. I mean, used to, I could put these meals together, and two people could eat for five bucks. Before 2020, I guarantee you, 90% of the meals I cook would have been under $5 for two people. Now it's 10, 12, I mean, you know, the prices are so astronomical now. Yeah, they are, you know. Yeah, that's and why our pantry is really important now. The it, faster you can build a pantry, the better off you'll be. Yeah, I mean, if you'll think about it, all of our kids were coming of age back in that 2008, 2010 era. No. They were growing up and coming out. They weren't gone. Were uh, they gone? All but Rick and Link. No. <laughs> no. Yeah, Ricky ate a dozen eggs. A dozen eggs. Every that boy, day. he was in wrestling and he was in the middle school, so I was what, 12, 13, 14 years old. That boy would come home and scramble a dozen eggs and eat every one of them. Now, I've seen him fry day. them up and lay them and layer them. Oh, well, yeah, you do that, too. You know, yeah, it'd be this, too. this thick on the plate and then dive in and eat it. <laughs> yeah, but, you, uh, you know, well, raising the kids, you know, for all those years, you know, uh, you know, she uh, that's really, I guess, what got her to start cooking the way she did. And then when we ended up, you know, moving out here, you know, with her crazy prepper pantry she started. Yeah. Um, yeah, I really no. You know, we no, really. I had, that, I had that before I started. Oh, I know. I started that. I know. I know. That's why I was brought it with us. talking about that 2008, oh. 2010 area. Yeah, yeah. You know, that was rough. That yeah. was yeah. Those were those were rough days for us. You know, yeah. being in business and relying on, you know, cash flow from, you know, homeowners and and so forth and, you know, 
they. It was just tough, and it we was, don't want to talk it about it. It was tough. I don't. Yeah. <laughs> well, we don't want to talk. That's why we made the decision to go ahead and, you know, and do what we did when we came out here, and all of that preparation that she did, and everything she had done in the past was able to get us. Get us through that first year. Get us through the first really year or so. Hard. Yeah, it was really hard. You want to go back and listen to some of the other videos. <laughs> You can hear those stories, okay? And uh, um, so let's see here. We talked about you know um, you know monetization. We talked about the uh, um, what they can do to help us, mm -hmm. right? And then we talked about your kitchen and your cooking. And what else can we talk? What else do you want to talk about? About it. Yeah. No, you said you wanted to say something. Oh. oh. Do you remember what it yes, is? Yes. I do. Okay. I so I'm going. To, she said she wanted to say something. I don't know what she's going to say, but she has CRS. <laughs> and he had to make sure I remembered what I wanted to say. And before. she wanted to talk. So when I looked at her, I said, "Didn't you say you have something to say?" Now she remembers. Now I remember. What is it, babe? <laughs> Oh, I just wanted to let y'all know that even though, you know, when we're doing these kicking videos, most of the time you don't see Randy. I mean, every once in a while he does a little cameo, but for the most part, he's always behind the camera. There is no cameraman, there is no setup, there's no, it's just Randy and I, and if he didn't do that, there wouldn't be any videos because I barely know how to, he did show me how to turn the camera on, but then... All this wiggly stuff came up on the on the screen, and she so got I, lost. I got lost, and I said, "Forget it." So, any camera work at all is all Randy. Yeah, I and, love and being the cameraman. He does. Now he I does. do. I get all these angles. I said, "I'm coming in for the kill shot," uh, you know. And I dive the camera, and I, you know, and you know, you'll hear Tammy. You know, when I get the camera down there next to the pan, I said, ooh, look at that close-up. Mm -hmm. And then she comes on and she says, oh, Randy loves them close-ups. Mm -hmm. And then she goes to cut an onion. I said, hold on, here I come. And I'll whip around and go back to the other side. And, you know, Sometimes she's standing there. it is so annoying. I know, but, but I love getting those action shots. But he does. And I love the Matrix-style slow motion. You know, I like doing cool stuff. I could really do a whole lot with the videos, but every time I do that, you know, it, it just makes it more complicated for you guys to watch, yeah. you know? So I try to find music that is uh, enjoyable, entertaining, uplifting. Oh, uplifting. You know, that struck my, another brain fart. You know, I was wanting to mention to you guys, you know, life is not all just a bunch of smiles for us. Okay. But, you know, I try to maintain composure. There's times where I get a little, you know, I get quiet and then, you know, but my mind is working. And then once I develop a plan, you know, I start to smile again. Okay. But uh, if you ever get to a point where you're like depressed or, you know, you're not feeling the greatest, you know, something isn't going right for you. Listen, ain't nothing going right out here. Okay. Our air conditioner and the camper is falling apart. The rotor killer went out and I got weeds growing all over the freaking garden. I got to get out there with a hoe and, and this heat. And we need to mow. And I haven't done it yet. So you know what them weeds are looking like, right? You know, I mean, it's just everything. The tie rod on the truck, the starters going out on the Jeep, everything left and right. I mean, every time you turn around, it's something, right? But what I was going to tell you is don't, let all that stuff bother you, you know, because eventually you'll get through it, right? One, one job at a time. One job at a time. But I wanted to tell you that all you got to do is tune in and watch one of Tammy's cooking videos and she will brighten your day. <laughs> she will make you see. She will make you smile. She will make you laugh. You know, and, cause, and when we get started out here, a lot of times she's going, Ugh, that's so hot. Yeah, it's uh, I need shower. 
And then I get back behind the camera and I start making all kind of weird faces and and stuff like that, and I get her going. Every time the camera flips back to her and she got a grin going from side to side, it's because I just cracked her up, mm. you know? And I do. And I live, I live to make her smile, you know, whether she wants to or not. And as much as she despises anything I might say or do, <laughs> by the time I get done with her, <coughs> She's doing, well, not that. Not that. But that. Okay? So, uh, you know, that's how you keep a woman happy out in the middle of the woods, guys. You gotta say something, make them laugh. You know, because if you can't make them laugh. What good are you? <laughs> yeah, you ain't worth a darn, right? They don't need you. The only reason she keeps me around is so she can keep smiling. Look at all them wrinkles right there. They're permanently embedded. Oh yeah, since I was in my twenties. No, it's oh, from yeah. all that smiling that you did. Yeah, it's from my twenties. Yeah, but anyway, um, one other thing, guys. Um, you know, let's see. Uh, like, share, comment. You know, none of that stuff matters to the YouTube algorithm. It really don't. Uh, the YouTube algorithm is viewer based. You type it in, it brings it up. If you've watched that channel before, it'll, and that channel has a video that will fit that need, it'll put it up there for you. Um, but the comments help us yeah, understand, you. you know, what, uh, what you guys, how you guys feel about the videos. And right now, I'm thinking that you guys are all hunky-dory, slap happy with all our videos. <laughs> we're not getting any hate. We're not committing any controversy. We're getting 100% likes. And so you guys are just going like, oh. You guys are awesome. Yeah, you guys are awesome. And I do appreciate the, uh, the kind words. And, um, you know, but keep the comments coming. Hey. Go to the comments and just leave a thumbs up or a smiley or a happy face or something if you really don't have much to say. Uh, oh, and if you watch this video, yeah, here, here's, here's the key. If you watch this video and you've watched it to this point, hit the like button. Hmm. And then I know, it doesn't tell me who left a like, so don't worry about that. It doesn't tell you who left a like. Now it tells you, no, it doesn't. It just says, whenever I get someone liked your video, I, yeah, I get a, I get a message that said, someone liked your, liked your video or liked your reply. You know, so you don't have to be afraid with leaving a like. Okay. Is that all right? Can I ask him to leave a like? I guess that's a controversial subject. <laughs> so, if you don't like that statement, don't leave a comment. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Oh, look, there is a toad. Beth, there's a toad. Get him. He's going to run toad before in I my get kitchen. to him. There's a real toad, a little warty toad, not that little tree frog. Get him, Timmy. Let's show Beth. Ah, he went up under the... Yeah, see, that's what I was going to say. If I got him, I should have got the camera zoomed in on him. <laughs> but anyway, yeah, there's a toad. Should we try to get him? No, he'll come back out. Well, no, but I, I, we can't show it to him if we don't catch him real quick. Well, we'll have to, have to get it tomorrow. Uh, let me see. Where's he You're at? not going to be able to get him. He's back there. He went up underneath. Ugh. Uh. Anyway, Beth, there was a toad, a big old warty toad. He's about that big around. Yeah. And he just come waltzing through. If I'd have caught him while he was over there, I'd have picked him up and showed him to you. But he's up under he's up under the cabinets right now. Um, I guess that's about it. If there's anything you guys would like us to talk about, no, give it. 
anything you'd like us to give you our opinion about, <laughs> you know, be we more are than, opinionated. Yeah, we are opinionated. But, uh, you know, we just live out here in the deep woods of North Florida. And, uh, you know, we kind of keep to ourselves. Yeah. So, I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you enjoyed the conversation. Mm -hmm. uh, we enjoyed talking to you. We know you're watching. You know? <laughs> see? I see you right there. Mm -hmm. So, just wave back. Yep. Bye. Y'all take care. We out.